In this video we're going to look at the effect of layer heights on 3D prints. Now if you remember from the earlier video where we brought in our model ready for 3D printing and prepared it using the recommended print setup settings, then we had a choice of three layer heights. We had 0.06 of a millimeter, 0.1 millimeter and 0.15. If you want to choose a different layer height then click on the custom menu because that brings up a lot more options that you can change prior to 3D printing. The top of uh, those options is uh, an area called quality which contains the layer height setting. If I get anywhere near the layer height option it actually opens up this small dialog box which gives me some indications of what layer height is about and what it affects. Now this current model is set at 0.1 millimeters and you'll notice in the view that I've got on the screen that I'm in the layers view. And that's because I'm going to use this to show the effect of uh, changing layer height. If you take notice of two areas on this print, one at the side of the head of the robot in this area here and around the shoulder area, you'll see there's a kind of staircase. It's probably a little bit more pronounced around this upper part than on the shoulder, but you can see this staircase, a fairly fine staircase of layers that's going to produce this particular area of the 3D print. So just keep an eye on that area and the area around the top of the shoulder. The other thing to look at is the time. So this print is going to take 11 hours 43 minutes to produce. So we're now going to go and change the layer height from 0.1 millimeters to 0.25 millimeters. So quite a big change. Cura is now going to re-slice that model, which it's currently doing. It's just going to take a couple of seconds to do that and then a couple of seconds to recreate the layers view. A couple of things to notice here now. The print time has dropped to 4 hours 42 minutes. So that's a full 7 hours quicker to produce this particular model than when it was being produced at 0.1 millimeter layer height. But take a look at the effect on the model in the layers view. You can see these uh, areas that I mentioned earlier I've now got a much more pronounced staircase so the quality of these areas in terms of the surface won't be as good as it was with 0.1 millimeter. So that's the effect on quality. Obviously the effect on time is seven hours quicker to print and it's really down to yourself to decide which is the most important aspect to you. Is it a quick print or is it the quality of the print? If it's the quality of the print I'd very much recommend 0.1 millimeter as quite a good compromise of quality yet still delivering reasonable print times. Uh, 0.06 will deliver very slow print times so 0.1 millimeter should be your starting point if you're looking for quality. If you're looking for a quick print obviously you can make that layer height quicker and the print will print quicker but you have to accept that the surface quality may not be quite as good. So that's uh, a summary of layer heights and what it affects. It affects the surface quality of the print and the overall print time. 